I got started renovating homes. I actually started, um, I've been in the construction industry my whole life since high school. Um, and it started as, hey, Phil, I need a kitchen redone. Can you do it for me? A bathroom done, a basement remodeled, and a, you want to build me a garage, build me a deck. And then eventually it was, hey, Phil, I have someone that bought a house. Well, would you be interested in rehabbing it, fixing it up so we can move our family into it? I started renovating single family homes in 2010 for first time home buyers, then eventually moved up to uh, investors to help them out with their foreclosed, run down homes. For the permits and inspections, I will drop off all initial paperwork to the village in order to acquire the permits. For the inspections, rough or final, I will physically be on site to walk through the property with the inspectors for plumbing, electrical, building, HVAC, whatever it is. If there's any issues, we will address those issues, correct them, have them re-inspected, and everything passed and finalized so you can acquire your certificate of occupancy. The timeline for a project, once we obtain the permits and are able to start working, I basically use one day per thousand dollars of the bid total, which normally the process goes a lot faster than that. It's just something I've used to gauge our work schedule so you have an idea when your property will be complete. The payment schedule for your properties are normally based between three to four equal payments, which is the first payment is due up front before we begin any work. The second payment normally is after demo. Your third payment will be around the time we hang drywall, finish that up, and then your final payment will be once the property is complete. Your point of contact will be myself. I'm available anytime, any day. Call me, text me, email me. I also put a video on Workplace once a week to show you the progress of your project. If you have any questions, concerns, feel free to contact me. We could discuss any matters you have, issues, concerns, what you like to see, what you don't want to see. But feel free to call me anytime, any day, and I'll be there and we can work through things. Insurance requirements. You can rest assured that we are fully insured. We have all the policies needed, auto, general liability, workman's comp, for anything that comes up during the process that we are renovating your property for you. Any additional charges or change orders will be handled in this matter. You will receive a personal phone call from me stating the issue that we have found or has came to our attention. At that point, I would direct you to what I feel is the best way to address that matter, give you an idea on how much it will cost to fix this matter, and once we both agree upon it, then the item will move forward. At that time, that cost that you, you and I both agreed upon will be added and listed in the change order section of your itemized bid that you receive. The thing I like most about renovating homes for Chase investors are the everyday challenges that happen. We take an old home that's beat up, abused, we transform it into something new, exciting, that both the investor, the new homeowner, and I could be happy of. The number one recommendation for a new investor are to ask questions. It doesn't matter how small or big that question is, ask it so you can make the proper decision that you feel comfortable with and happy with. Because at the end of the day, if you're not happy or comfortable, you're probably not going to want to do it again.